Hi guys, how have you all been cooking with Crystal? Can you all guess what I'm going to prepare this evening? It's a very simple, simple meal and it's very filling. Alright, so for those of you who guessed the porridge, and I'm sure you all guessed it because it's there in the title, <laughs> you've guessed correctly. So this evening I'm going to make cornmeal porridge and that's basically porridge using cornmeal flour, the yellow cornmeal flour. Alright, and over here I have my spices. Now, piece of advice before I start. Piece of advice, get a spice bag. Don't do like me and dump everything in the boiling in the water. And then before I put in the cornmeal mixture, I have to take out all of these because they're all over. So get a spice bag, it's basically not a bag, literally, it's made of cloth. And it's for you to put your spices in and you submerge it to the water so when the water boils or whatever liquid that you're boiling when that boils it would extract all the flavor and fragrance right now the kitchen smells so lovely because i have the pot on with all the spices except the nutmeg um and the fragrance is just really kicking up it smells really good all right so over to the spices right here i have nutmeg i have some grated and then i have it out of the shell and in the shell so that you'll see what i'm talking about yeah over here i have clove these are bay leaves and over here I have spice and I don't know why that little ant is on my plate okay yeah so I have um, spice um, sticks here all right so like I said all of these are um, the clove the bay leaf and the spice they're already in the water minus the nutmeg now the nutmeg gives it a great touch and you can use these four spices um, for any porridge basically if you're using the sago um, oatmeal porridge um, cream of wheat oh my god that's another favorite of mine cream of wheat wow so yeah so let me get to the pot to show you all oh and over here i have the well of course the yellow cornmeal flour i have two cups of cornmeal flour here and two cups of water now this water is to mix with the cornmeal make well it's to mix with the cornmeal flour before i put it in the boiling water you cannot put the cornmeal flour directly in the boiling water because it's not gonna mix properly all right it's gonna become lumpy and you don't want lumpy porridge well unless it's oatmeal <laughs> Unless it's oatmeal, right? Um, I have my condensed milk, my evaporated milk, and Angostura bitters. If you don't have bitters, you can use a regular vanilla essence or mixed essence, almond essence, but you're going to use just a touch of essence, right? Because you don't want the essence flavor to overpower all the other spices. Alright, so let me get to the pot and show you all what I have in the pot so far. So, as I was telling you guys, don't do like I did and just dump everybody in there because now... I have to take them out but you see how the water has changed color and that's due to the spice on the bay leaf mainly and it smells so awesome right now all right so i'm gonna mix the cornmeal and the water and then we're gonna pour it in and use the whisk and whisk it about i'm gonna try something here for you guys let me see if i can do this and show you all. cool cooking with crystal me making porridge all right so just a little trick if you all did like i did you can do this and just scoop everybody up <laughs> All right, so I have everyone on here. Yeah? <laughs> okay, going to the mixture now. <laughs> All right, guys, so I used a different bowl. Um, so I put the water in here. Actually, I used three cups of water to two cups of cornmeal flour. All right, so I put the water in the bowl, and then I poured in the cornmeal flour, and I whisked it as I poured it in, so as to avoid any lumps or anything. And now I'm going to add it to the boiling water. So I've removed the spices from the water and I've added the nutmeg, um, the grated nutmeg to the water. So now I'm going to add the cornmeal, this mixture, to the boiling water. Um, the water that I have boiling is 3 cups of water. So in total it's 6 cups of water, 3 boiling, 3 with the cornmeal mixture. And uh, yeah, that's the total amount of water so far. So yeah, let's get mixing. Alright, so I'm really sorry that I couldn't show you all as I was pouring in the mixture to the boiling water. I really couldn't. <laughs> um, I only have two hands and I would have needed three hands for that. And yeah, I, I can only do so much, right? So yeah, but here we go. So you see that? Now, had you poured in the, um, the, the dry cornmeal to the boiling water, you would have seen a lot of clumps. And you don't want lumps, like clumps or lumps, whichever you use. Yeah? So you're just going to keep whisking this around. You're going to give it a rest as it starts to bubble. Oh, it's bubbling already. Right? So as it starts to bubble, you continue to whisk. And you're going to allow this to cook because it's cornmeal flour, right? You're going to allow it to cook. 
for like about a minute and uh, then switch off the heat and you're gonna add your condensed milk your evaporated milk and uh, um, yeah your bitters or your essence this is a lot of heat right now oh my god it's heat it's heat it's heat right so yeah we're gonna check the minute um, another way for you to check you can just touch it and feel if it's if the greens have um you know the greens have softened yeah continue to whisk I think it's almost one minute now oh my god I love this song that's on the radio I'll prove it to you starting tonight you all I love to sing <laughs> you should check out my other YouTube channel um, I'll post it in the, um, in the description so you all can check that out um, as well sorry I think it's just about a minute let me just leave it to let it bubble so you all can see that it's not really it's, it's thick so it's not gonna bubble like you know like a liquidy bubbly kind of um, bubble <laughs> It's just gonna like poof poof here and there. So I'm gonna turn off the heat now and then we're gonna add the condensed milk and the evaporated milk. Alright? So you see the bubbles coming up there? Yeah, so this is good right here. You're gonna enjoy this. Make sure and add those spices, your sweetener to your lightness. And you're definitely gonna enjoy it. Alright guys, so you're gonna add a generous amount of condensed milk. No, you just you can add a little bit at a time. Don't do like me and just add a generous amount. I normally do this free-handed. I'm gonna add one cup of evaporated milk. I normally do this free-handed, so I don't really measure. So I'm just measuring for you guys. All right. So so far, one cup of evaporated milk, and I should have been whisking while pouring in to avoid all this beating up. But we're gonna get through it. It's gonna come together still. No worries. No need to get scared. <laughs> yeah so right like i said you add your evaporated milk i've added one cup if it needs more i'm gonna add definitely gonna add another cup all right so i'll put the full list of ingredients and measurement um in the description so that you'll see um yeah so that you'll have an idea of your proper measurement instead of doing this craziness like i am because like i said i normally do it freehand and i'm only measuring for you guys all right, so let me just get another cup of milk. All right, guys, so you see the consistency there? It's really nice. Now, as it cools, it's gonna get a little thicker, keep in mind. So if you prefer, if you want it a bit thinner, you can always add some more evaporated milk or you can add a bit of warm water, if it's still warm, that is. Yeah, so you just keep this thing around. Finally, I'm gonna add a three dashes of bitters and uh, guys that's it so all right here's what I'm gonna do in the description I'm gonna put the measurement for one um, for one cup of cornmeal because this is a lot of porridge and I don't know if you, you're gonna want this much porridge so I'll just put the measurement for one cup of cornmeal which will basically cut all the um the measurement of ingredients in half and uh, this tin of corn, um, condensed milk, sorry, <laughs> was, yeah, was almost fully seeing where it is there. And it's like, probably like one third of it is there now. So I probably used uh, about two cups of condensed milk. So like I said, you can sweeten it to suit your likeness because some people may like it sweet. There are people that I know might use three cups of condensed milk. Um, some others may use one. If you don't have condensed milk, um, sugar is the next best bet. <laughs> So, yeah, and that's it, guys. Poor meal porridge. Yeah, I'm gonna pour some. Now, let me tell you, I like to drink my porridge in a bowl. I don't know about all you, but I, I, I'm not up to this teacup thing right through. I drink my porridge in a bowl, so I'm gonna pour some in a bowl. And uh, final view for you guys. And you all are gonna try it, you all are gonna enjoy it. And like I said, it doesn't have to be corn meal porridge, it can be any porridge, but make sure and add those spices. Yeah. Hi guys, so here we are and I got a little swoop because I put a little more bitters in it. Little decoration there with the spice, the cloves and the bay leaf and uh, yeah, this is what you want. You see that? 
Yes. So guys, this is me here. I'm gonna remove those <laughs> and enjoy this bowl of porridge. I hope you all enjoy. I'm gonna put the proper measurement <laughs> of all the ingredients in the description. Please don't follow this craziness that I did. Follow the ingredients, the measurements, and everything, and you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it good. All right. I did a bunch of craziness today, and like I said, because I'm accustomed to get freehand. Right, so yeah, here you go, corn meal porridge. Get all up in there, right? Yeah, all right, guys. So, hope you all enjoyed cooking with Crystal. We did corn meal porridge this evening, and uh, I'm going to enjoy this right now. So, I'll post a little later. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe.